Today we're going to take a look at Saxon Math 6-5. Now this is the first edition. The first and second and I believe third editions are all hardcover and the new fourth editions are um, paperback. So a lot of people enjoy um, getting the older editions of Saxon because they're hardcover and also um, I think there's even more lessons in the older ones. I think they combine more lessons in the fourth edition. So this is for sixth grade or advanced fifth grade. And if you're following along with the Saxon progression and you've done Saxon math K, one, two, three, then you would have done math five, four in fourth grade and math six, five in fifth grade. And that is what we have done. So we did this last year for my daughter for fifth grade so we have done Saxon all along and if you have been doing it all along and you've done 5-4 um, already then you'll notice that this is very similar to 5-4 so this looks a little bit different than the second edition now we used the second edition but it looks very, very, very similar. There's only a few differences that I can even see between the first and second editions. So what this looks like is there will be facts practice every day, and I will show you what those look like, and then there is the lesson. So if you have an independent learner and they like to do things independently, or you would like them to do them independently, they can try it. Um, to do it on their own and so that's the lesson there'll be practice problems and then you'll have your problem set so there are 25 and I know some families who will have the students do the odd or even numbers because they are a lot of problems so that's up to you and how much um, practice your student needs so these are laid out all the same all the lessons you have your fact practice sheet you'll have the lesson your practice problems and then your problem set so like i said we did the second edition last year this is the first the only difference i see is that in the second edition this box is bigger and there's more activities in this box at the beginning of the lesson and also the first edition does not have the little parentheses that tell you which lesson to go back to in case you're having trouble with that problem but otherwise the books look this looks very similar to what we used last year we used the second edition so this is not meant to be written in so you can use it over and over again but these are very inexpensive now because these are older and they cost only about $10 on Amazon or eBay. So what I do with, what I did with my daughter is that I let her write, write in the book. So when you're getting to problems later on like this, um, then she wouldn't have to write those all out again and then do the problem. I let her just do it right in the book. That saved time and it saved frustration and it also saved um, a lot of mistakes from happening I believe so just from in copying it over so that is what this looks like we did this in fifth grade I'm sorry we did this yes we did this in fifth grade um, and I would say it was definitely it is definitely for advanced fifth grade just as they recommend it so this is um, really for sixth grade and it would definitely be challenging for fifth and it was challenging for my daughter definitely was challenging but we had already done math um, five four and finished that so we went right into it and she actually did better at this book than the last one because she had trouble transitioning into the last book from saxon math three into math five four but transitioning from five four into six five was much easier because it was pretty much the same layout and there was a lot of review in the first half of the book so she did better um, in Saxon 
So this is what the first edition looks like. And these are the kinds of problems toward the end of the book. So for the second edition, I have some other things to show you. So for your fact practice, there are reproducible fact sheets that you can make copies of and then you would do these every, with every lesson. So one fact sheet per lesson. So what we did was I made a copy of this and we laminated it and then my daughter did, um, did these with a dry erase marker and then we were able to just wipe it clean and just reuse them all school year. So that's how we did that instead of making a whole bunch of copies of these. So these are the fact sheets and there's also tests and also an answer key. So this is also the second edition answer key. So make sure when you are ordering your Saxon math books that you get the matching um, sets. So if you have a first edition Make sure you get the first edition tests and answer key and if you get the second edition get the second edition and so forth so that there isn't um, some difference there in all of the answers so that is math 65 Saxon is very rigorous and um, it's definitely more rigorous than other math programs that I have seen so if that is what you're interested in, then Saxon will work well for you. It is spiral method. It continually repeats concepts, or reviews concepts all throughout the book so that nothing is forgotten. And I really like that. And I like how it's laid out. And um, I like this book. So that is all I have for you guys about Saxon Math 6.5. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.